Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Sampriti sir. I am studying 7th standard sentence higher primary school, Shira. So friends, after a long day, we are back. Today, I am Sampriti sir taking a math lesson uh, that is introduction to algebra. So friends, before that, after a long time we are here. From today, I am going to continue my teaching videos, experiment videos and etc. Uh, which I like to do there before, like before. So friends, let us start our video. Subject, Mathematics, Topic, Introduction to Algebra. So friends, what is Algebra? Algebra is a branch of Mathematics. Before that, Maths is divided into three branches. Arithmetic, Algebra and Geometry. In that, algebra is also one branch. Algebra is a branch of mathematics. So, al what algebra is a branch of mathematics? It deals with variables, constants connected with arithmetic operations. We need to see an example of an algebraic expression. So, we have here 5 plus 2x. Here, 5 is the constant. 2 is the coefficient, x is the variable. 5 plus 2 x. This is an example of algebraic expression. Here 5 is the constant, 2 is the coefficient and x is the variable. Let us see the meaning of constant, coefficient and variable. First, constant. Constant is a fixed value. It never changes. The value never changes. Next, coefficient. Coefficient is a numerical factor of a term. It is called coefficient. Here, variable. Variable is a number which value is not fixed or it is in the form of a disguise. This is the meaning of uh, this coefficient, variable and constants. So, let us continue. We have learnt about this. We have 5 and 2 here. What are these called? Yes, these are all called terms. Term is neither either a variable or a constant. It is connected together and multiplied. These are, this is all about algebra session. Here we learnt about what is algebra. Algebra is a branch of mathematics like that. And we saw an example of algebraic expression and we saw uh, what are constants, coefficient and variables and we saw terms, what are terms, okay. So, in the next coming video, I am going to say how to obtain formulas using the algebra in perimeter area and we can do the, all the problems related to that. So, friends, uh, in the next upcoming video, we are also going to learn more about formulas. So, thank you for watching. Keep supporting. Subscribe my channel. Bye.